when I first came here on interview, I asked the children the question, what would you like me to stop, start and continue were I to be your head? And they said, Miss, make us feel safe, stop the fighting. And they said, stop teachers losing our books. And that is a long, long way from where a school must be. And it's been an absolute privilege to have led teachers, leaders and our professional support staff. I did have that element of worry about how we would settle given the pandemic and them having a disrupted education in years five and year six. Um, but he's just embraced it. He's loving wearing the uniform. Can't wait to get his first beat badge on his blazer. And um, he's loving the enrichment activities on a Wednesday afternoon. And he's just breezing through at the moment. Well, I've been here for about 14 years now, actually. I started as a newly qualified teacher. Over that time, there's been some major ups and downs definitely um, and we did get to a point where things were really quite bad really I'd say but um, over these last four years or so we've really turned a corner and things are really really on the up now. What I'm really looking forward to is getting a good education and being able to learn which is really good that kids can be able to learn so that's the first thing when I wake up I'm really excited to learn. It's a completely transformed place and just now we're able just to teach lessons without disruption. If there is disruption there's a very clear policy in place for how to deal with that so that the rest of us can get on and learn and as part of that the exam results have really gone through the roof and um, we've made so much progress. I, I believe we were in the top two percent of most improved schools in terms of progress so I mean that just speaks volumes I think.